Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Katie here and I haven't reintroduced myself in a really long time. So if you're new here, um, my name is Katie and my husband Keaton and I moved to Christchurch, New Zealand in June of 2022 uh, on a special purpose visa. Then we got um, a different accredited work visa for him. Um, moving that right along, we got residency in July of 2023. And in December of 2023, we bought a house. So that is what today's video is all about. The house buying process in New Zealand. It's not an easy one for anyone. I think for anyone that is maybe just getting their residency or um, someone that is a true Kiwi and has lived here their whole life. Um, New Zealand is a stunningly beautiful country and there's a lot of people that are moving here. Um, and even without that, uh, homes are in very high demand. Housing costs have increased in insane amount what it seems like we would we would look at houses that were sold um, maybe three years ago for like three hundred thousand dollars less than what they're selling at today and we could not fathom that we were just like how on earth did the price rise so much did the value rise so much in such what feels like such a short amount of time but they did and people are paying the prices. I mean, we, we did uh, because we know that in the end it will be so much more worth it to like crack into the housing market than to continue renting. This house, oh my gosh, I don't even know the number of house this was that we looked at. We looked at a ton. We started looking at houses just kind of casually, maybe, like July-ish, um, we got our residency in July um, and we were kind of like, okay, like let's just see what houses are out there because you know, it's kind of a standard everywhere I think. I mean, this is at least what we were told in the States to have 20% of the sales price uh, to put down as a down payment and we were not even close to that. We still, spoiler alert, didn't put down 20% on this house uh, because that would have been nearly impossible for us to do. We started just kind of looking around and seeing what we liked, what area we liked, uh, what kind of house we wanted. Um, Christchurch has some really, really beautiful older homes that have so much character and uh, some of them have been redone like most Houses that were built in Christchurch have single pane windows, um, and some of them then had double win double pane windows and had a redone kitchen and things of that sort, but still retained a lot of the character. And we were really, really loving those, but also knowing Meredith, our new dog, just brought in a massive stick, but here. You can kind of see the stick, maybe you can. <laughs> it's bigger than her. Um, but we love the character of the house, but we also know ourselves and know that we like pretty modern amenities. We saw some new modern houses. There are so many townhouses going up all over the, Christ the Christchurch area, like city center and beyond, uh, which are like brand new, they look great, but we had owned a freestanding home in the States and we wanted the same thing here. We wanted a nice fenced in yard because we knew that we wanted a dog and so on and so forth. We didn't necessarily want to look out our window and into our neighbor's window. So we were pretty set on having a standalone house with a decent sized section and we were lucky enough to find it. That wasn't without some difficulties. So I've already done a video on the auction that we lost. Uh, that was the first house that we absolutely fell in love with. It had 
uh, the character that we loved, but also modern amenities. And it was in the Mount Pleasant area, which you literally exit the road, turn right, you're at the beach in five minutes. Uh, it was just such a beautiful area. Um, that house went for over 120,000 more than we thought it would. And it went at auction, uh, which we quickly learned is not the route that we wanted to go down. Uh, the next house that we put an offer in was also in Mount Pleasant. Um, it was in the hills. It had a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Uh, there wasn't a lot of offers on it. And so we kind of aimed low, also knowing what our budget was. If they were going to come back, we wanted to have wiggle room. Um, and they turned our offer down because it was too low. But funny enough they came back around to us after we had already bought this house and asked if we were still interested because there were no other buyers interested. So I don't know. And I still don't know if they've sold it, but this house um, had an asking price on it, which is so rare. It had been on the market for a while and I remember seeing it pop up like maybe a month or so back and there was something about it. I think the way that it was photographed, honestly, we were like, nah, doesn't really look that great. Like we'll just take it off. But then when we started to get desperate, I like, we looked at all of the houses, like scrolled and scrolled and scrolled back to the oldest houses on Trade Me, the app that we were use, using to look at property. And this house popped up and it had a sales price on it. And I was like, or an asking price on it. And I was like, okay, what's the hurt in going to look at it? So we came and looked at it and it is just like the perfect template for a house that we wanted. We've already, like you can see, we still have our Christmas decorations up and it's January, but I don't care. Um, we didn't get to put it up right away because we moved in here mid-December. So we've already put up this um, wood panel in the wall behind me. Uh, and we want to like redo the bathrooms. That'll come with time because obviously that costs a little bit more. Um, but it was like the perfect template. It has a really great sized yard. Here, I'll show you. Our yard is just out there. Those are olive trees. We have two peach trees that we, uh, this is how I'm recording because I can't find my recording stick <laughs> in boxes that we still have yet to unpack. Um, but decent sized yard. So we fell in love with this house. So bought this house, uh, but the process of buying the house was interesting. So we didn't originally start looking for houses with an agent because we were advised not to, because once you're working with an agent in New Zealand, uh, you can really only go to open houses with them, with their per either with their permission or with them actually with you. So we were kind of like, nah, we can go look at houses uh, on our own and figure it out. When we went to auction for the first house that we loved, I was terrified to go to auction and bid all of our money uh, without help. So our lawyer actually uh, said she had a friend that would be willing, that was a real estate agent that would be willing to go to the auction with us. Uh, and so she came, we lost the auction, but she was so great, like explaining absolutely everything to me. Um, even though she wasn't going to get any money out of it if we did win. So we decided to move uh, forward with her as our agent. And I mean, she was so prompt and uh, accessible that it didn't really become an issue having to go with an agent. We went with her uh, or if she couldn't come with us, um, say she was with another client or something of the sort, she contacted the agent and said, hey, um, my buyers will be coming to the open home, keep an eye out for them. And then when it came to putting offers in on the houses, it was really good to get a like feeling off of her. She knew the market better than we did. She knows New Zealand better than we do. 
Uh, and so she was really good at being like, nope, I don't think you need to offer that much or like, yep, I know that there are competing offers. Uh, you need to kind of step up your game. Uh, and then she, once we had our offer accepted, um, she was really great because we obviously don't know anyone in the area as far as like a building inspector uh, and things of that nature. So she recommended all of that to us, uh, which was really great to have because otherwise we would have been like Google building inspector in Christchurch, New Zealand. Uh, yeah. So buying a house here has been a roller coaster up, down and around. Um, when it comes to interest rates, our current rates are high sevens, uh, especially because we didn't have 20%. So the goal in the next, uh, we have an extra 0.75% on our mortgage as interest right now. So our goal in the next 18 months is to save up enough to like chuck a bunch of money into it when our um, loan is up and meet that 20%. So we have two loans on our house right now, one for two years and one for 18 months, um, or maybe, yeah, 18 months. Um, so that hopefully the rates come down then and then the rates will absolutely come down be, uh, once we have that 20% because then we won't have that extra percentage tacked on. So, uh, yes house buying process, uh, completely worth it. Like I can't even explain how it feels to be in a home that is 100% ours. With all the headaches and insurance and everything else that comes with it, I'm just like, this home is ours. And it just even more solidifies the fact that we live here and New Zealand is our home. And that is the best feeling in the whole world. So if you have any questions about the process or anything of the sort, please leave a comment down below and I will uh, try and get back to you. Or if I don't know the answer, I will tell you I don't know the answer. Uh, but thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.